Hello and welcome by the Arcade Saga. So yeah, this is my uh, blooming update for the month of October in November. Uh, because we had some uh, constru construction work done next uh, to the greenhouse. So this uh, week was a little bit crazy, a lot of noise. Uh, so therefore I'm just a little bit late. But anyhow, I think uh, it's always good to uh, show some blooms. So even though I'm a little bit late, let's start this uh, blooming update. And I will start with this one. I will not uh, forget this one uh, again, like I did in my last uh, update for September. I only, uh, this, this was only uh, this spike then, and it was working on the second one. And you can see they are both now open up. And yeah, it's a beautiful fender, I think. Let's zoom in a little bit. Beautiful colors. It's a bit of white and a bit of green in there. And it looks so beautiful with those two spikes. And then next to here, this one, I think this is the first time it has two spikes as well. Let me go first to the blooms. We have a, a bit of a close up. And the dark purple sometimes just appears almost black. And then it looks almost uh, yeah, black and, and yellow, a yellowish color in there. A fairly large blooms. As you can see, my hand next to it. So uh, yeah, this one is very beautiful as well. And again, two spikes, so it looks very beautiful. This is my biggest one. This one has uh, seven keikis going on in the vase. As you can see, so uh, who knows? But yeah, this one is uh, really enjoying her life and uh, spoil us with, uh, with uh, two beautiful uh, spikes. So that's uh, the Fendas, and then over here I have a first time bloomer. It's beautiful. This is my favorite color of uh, in the red uh, range. <laughs> it's uh, almost a, a bit purplish. I think it looks on the screen, but uh, in real life it's more of a red and a, a dark pink color on the, on the lip there. This is the Wine Delight. So you notice Wine Delight. Like I said, first time bloomer, but a beautiful, healthy spike. Down under this beauty, we have another one. We have my white Lycaste in bloom again. Fairly large bloom as well. A bit of a different uh, shape than, than we used to, I think. For the orchids, it's a bit uh, strange, but I, uh, I like it. These uh, strangely long... Uh, Sepals, I think these are with that, a bit of yellow in the lip there. It's beautiful in the center. So, and down here we have still this uh, Talumnia in bloom. The bloom started a little bit to fade, so it will not be uh, long here, but it's still, uh, still blooming with through three blooms. And in front of that one, we have my Psychopsis. This bloom is going over now. And as you can see, it has a fairly fresh bloom here. Also a very beautiful flower. Then over here we have one that I did rebloom for the second time, with, but this time with two fairly long spikes, I think. Uh, this is the Zelamina Midas. So yeah, it's a beautiful also a yellow and a red color bloom with the, with the spots, the dots there in the center. And like I said, two spikes, beautiful. It does look very, very nice, as you can see. So let's go over to this side. We have a few blooms left on this epidendrum. So as you can see here, it's been in bloom for a very long time, but I think it has a few buds here. It's almost done now. So, uh, but it's still uh, still beautiful. Nice color. But I, when it just starts to open up, it has way more blooms. It, I like it a bit better then, but uh, it's still a nice color. Then a first time bloomer over here. This is a very very large bloom. And I think quite, quite a few of uh, our orchids growers on the YouTube have this one. So you probably recognize it. You may have it in your own collection. This is, this is the green hairy pig. And it has a bit of a 
blush here on the lip. I hope you can see it there in the back. It's a little bit darker. A, it's more a purplish tint over there in that green. Very fragrant and as you can see a very large bloom. Then here, this is the second time that I did rebloom this Cattleya as well. Sadly, the blooms are facing uh, straight upwards, so the display is not as nice. If you ask me, I like them to be uh, bended over a little bit more. But uh, nonetheless, a beautiful, strong color uh, Cattleya. And these are two blooms, and they are touching one another with, uh, with the lips. <laughs> Sounds like kissing, <laughs> but uh, yeah, still beautiful, of course. And then we have a no ID here. And this one, I think last year it had about three blooms, but now it has five. And it's a very, very nice one. A pink purplish color with a little bit of green inside there. Beautiful lip. And like I said, quite a nice display. Several blooms in here. I should turn it around, I think. I will do that later so we can uh, I can see the blooms a bit better. Otherwise I will knock things over because I have the camera in one hand. <laughs> and here we have the sea breeze. Well, this one is uh, obviously going all with all the uh, this dump one of the blooms, as you can see. So these are done. And then up here, I have another Cattleya in bloom. This one I found, I think, last year when I went to uh, Landsbergen. This one normally has larger blooms, but it was uh, it had a setback quite quite uh, drastically. So yeah, it's it's coming uh, back to life again. You can see the canes are not nearly as big as uh, the ones that it came with, but it's blooming. It has four blooms on two different canes. So two di directions of growth, and it's 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 uh, getting healthy again. So probably next time it will uh, be as its original site, I think. I hope. <laughs> so the rest of my calais, uh we have quite a few that are still uh, budding. So we will have more blooms in the future. And this one is that ep uh, epidendrum type greenhorn. I didn't repot it yet because it's not shooting out new roots, but it's still blooming. It's not my own. It, I did bought it in, uh, not my own blooms. I did bought it in in bloom. But then look at here, <laughs> four very healthy strong spikes on my cymbidium. And look at those blooms. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This one was the first one to open. And over here you can see these spikes are just uh, starting to open up. We have even have some buds still closed. And this one has even more buds to open up. And you can see it just starting to open up here, this bloom. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Eh? <laughs> and of course, still some fails in bloom. I will uh, try to do an update on the fells as soon as I can about the flower spikes because I think we could have we could have the best show so far. What I see, but that's for an, uh, another video. I will uh, go into uh, more into it then. But yeah, it looks like uh, that we have uh, quite some spikes uh, in the near future. Well, this cane is still in bloom on my Dendrobium chrysanthemum orange. And you can see this one is uh, was the first to open up and the bloom is already uh, starting to fade. But you can see them fairly fresh here. But it has a little cluster up there and those are not open that long. Beautiful waxy bloom. Nice bright color and it smells a bit like honey. But at least it reminds me of, uh, of honey. But yeah, such a beautiful display. Those very large canes with those beautiful clusters of flowers. So um, that was in this area. Let's go over to this side. 
And there we start with my uh, dendrobium orchids, most of them, like this one. This is, let me grab the tag. Oh, it's stuck. Uh, let me show it to you. It's puff something, I believe. Whoops, wrong side. <laughs> this is harder than I imagined. Yeah, puff 58 yellow fragments. Bit of a strange name, but nonetheless a very beautiful bloom. And right next to it is also a strong fragrance coming from this sherry baby. Beautiful. Love the fragrance, of course. <laughs> Chocolatey type fragrant and vanilla. Thailand's black, and this time we have four spikes. My Thailand black. We have one just starting here in the back, and we have one coming here. Very beautiful, dark, red, purplish color. Then we have this horned one over here. This is the first time Bloom for me. It was in bloom for quite a, uh, quite a long time. But now you can see the first bloom starting to fade. And it was to be expected. Then in the back we have a, a white androbium. The purple happiness has a fairly large spike. And this is the same as the one in the back. These blooms are starting to go over. But uh, you can see very, uh, especially this spike, it has a lot of blooms. <laughs> a lot of blooms. Then down here we have the, where are you? Let me see. Very Oda. In spike, and next to it we have another white Dendrobium phenolopsis. I do not have a name for it. And right in front of that one we have the blue happiness. Also a very, very strong spike on this one. And then we have another spike. A little bit shorter, but very strong. Next to that one we have this purple, pinkish Dendrobium, also in bloom with a smaller spike over here, and it's working on two very large spikes there in the back. <laughs> but yeah, this one has these types of blooms, very beautiful. Then above this, that one, we have still have blooms on this one. <laughs> Can't believe that in the back is also a spike. So yeah, this one has been in bloom for a very long time, and I, this always uh, wins <laughs> the contest of the rest of the Androbium Phenoliopsis. This one is always for a very, very long time in bloom. Sadly, I do not have the uh, original name for it. Let me check. We do No, we didn't miss one. Up here we have the uh, Snow Jade. Let me zoom in. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, also a very beautiful spike. And next to it we have the chocolate, banana chocolate. Dendrobium vanilliopsis. Also multiple spikes, three spikes, as you can see. There. Okay, then down here we have this beauty. First time bloomer for me, our first rebloom. Beautiful colors, also a beautiful spike. Well, actually, two spikes here. And yeah, it's in the back, is making another spike. So, this is the Baratonia green parrot. Very beautiful one, I think. So, yeah, next to that one, we have the Verona. Still in bloom. This, I think, this is the new spike. I'm not completely sure. But also very beautiful. This one has two spikes over here as well. So let me go back a little bit. Yeah, the sun is shining, so it's, we have quite a strong backlight. But I hope you can see the beautiful display of these blooms. My Billabong Alba is still in bloom, but it's now starting to fade as well. It's been in bloom for quite a long time. The Billabong, it's the original one, is uh, going over, as you can see. Down here we have one that is starting to bloom as well. 
with uh, four spikes. Yeah, we have one here, still in bloom. It was in the last uh, blooming update as well. And we have one beautiful spike over here. There in the back is one opening, as you can see. And then all the way here, we have another one with these beautiful yellow, orangey, spidery type uh, blooms. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's starting to get fairly large. I need to find a different pot for this one. But first, we're going to enjoy the blooms. Then uh, over here, still this, this purple one is still in bloom for months now. Beautiful, right? In the back, we have the spike. Fairly big orchid. But it started going over now. And it should because it needs to grow a new growth again soon. Then we have another no idea here in the back. It's beautiful yellowish creamy type blooms. The one that didn't go so didn't do so well, but it started to get better. And you can see we have uh, multiple blooms and the leaves that it's growing now in the greenhouse are uh, way better. So this one is starting to get um, healthier again. Then up here, we still have some blooms on this uh, Miltonia. Angela Barker. But as well, it's going over now. As does this one. This one did came in bloom. It's from my last Landsbergen haul. And I don't want to forget these guys because this is the uh, one we see a lot on the internet as well. Elizabeth and Buckleberry. And it's of course its family name, come on. Bubba Film, of course, I'm sorry. I couldn't remember. <laughs> Bubba Film, Elizabeth and Buckleberry. And these are the type of blooms he's giving. You can see this one has already started to go over, but yeah, I was a little bit late. <laughs> Luckily I have them on camera. So that's why it's over there. Then we have here, still beautiful in bloom, the beautiful Peter Kampf. This, this one is so beautiful as well. Fairly strong fragrance on this one. It smells a little bit burned, <laughs> burn, like burned wood or something. So strangely enough, it reminds me always on burned wo uh, wood. I'm sorry. So it's a strange fragrance, I must admit. So and that's uh, the rest is uh, done blooming and starts to uh, grow new growth again. Well, actually, I did forget my uh, sunsets. This is the one with the spotted blooms. Well, normally it did give a clean one this time, but you can see here, this is what I'm talking about. These spots there. This one did that all the time, but this bloom is clean, so to speak. And this one is uh, just more vibrant in colors as you can see so that's one why i did part this one as well and yeah then when this one is going over now here it's a, but it has a new uh, spike so i will do an update on the blooms next time i can film this but like i can do now a little bit but it's not as beautiful <laughs> so let's get over to the sides did i forget something here no i didn't I hope. <laughs> so yeah, the fails we have here, we did this one. Yeah, I think it's time to go uh, inside the orchid room because I have something very nice here as well. Let me turn quickly off the ventilator. This is the first time it happened that I have a second blooming cycle in from the Miltoniopsis. I knew that they uh, can do that in, in fall and uh, in sh uh, now, I'm s yeah, fall and winter and spring, they can bloom twice a year. But I didn't have that happen yet. But this one, as you can see, is just uh, in bloom again, and it had another spike over here, plus quite a lot of new growth. So I th there may be uh, more blooms, but and I love it. This, if you didn't know, these are uh, my favorite orchids, the Miltoniopsis. The fragrance is absolutely fantastic. So then on uh, the way down here, we have this beauty. 
I still have it listed as the Ada Glossum French Town. With the three spikes and the first blooms are open. Beautiful colors, that brown and orange. I think they match very well together. Next to it we have Solotony. Uh, Solotony, I will show you the tag. But first the blooms. Very nice spike, I think. Beautiful white with orange colors. I really like the contrast of those two. Let me see. Salatini Linda Buckley. Buckley. Linda with an uh, A on the end. I did forget the A. <laughs> Buckley. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Fairly large blooms, I think. So that's over here. Then we have my Zygonesia. The beautiful white and purple one here in bloom. So that's over here. Then we have this one. This is a no ID. ID, but um, it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. It says fairly slow grower, but it has a beautiful, nice spike and the blooms are fairly large big as well beautiful pattern and colors on there i think and then over here well you probably saw the video the yellow antidote is nearly either not my own blooms and i uh, but i still enjoy it of course <laughs> down here we have the uh, swiss beauty still in bloom with three spikes now one is going over and down there, I always forget these guys, are my Ludicias. This is the Alba version, and you can see it's in bloom as well. It was, but it's hard to film from here. A new spy coming. So that's all there. Then, have the, then we have the uh, Pipikea over here. Ancidium Pipikea, I believe, is the name. Very uh, one of the older arcs that I have in my collection. Beautiful one, you can see. Likes to root. Then we have the twinkles, but those are not in bloom yet. But there will be quite some uh, some blooms. This one is still in bloom, but starting to go go over. And this is the um, Anthocidium Hanslier. Ansley Eisler, something like that. <laughs> and then we have the Miltoniopsis Fenoliopsis. This one is a uh, uh, fairly new bought orchid, so this came with these two spikes. This is my third one. I'm going to try it one more time, but I didn't have much luck with the other two. Those turned out to be uh, sick orchids. So let's hope I finally found a healthy one. But yeah, beautiful, right? Those blooms. And then up here we have this one. Oops, the sun is shining fairly bright. I'm trying my best. Yeah, there we are. Beautiful, beautiful. It has three blooms. I have one in the back there. So yeah, it can grow larger spikes, but I may have given it a little too less light. I'm not completely sure. Then the Sotawanam, still some blooms left, but it's going over now. So it had his best days, blooming-wise, for now. Then, oops, there's a little bit of pumice underneath my foot. <laughs> let's see, let's do this one, the white one. So yeah, this is a Bilara type, with beautiful blooms. A he heavy, heavy spike. I did stake it because I think about three days ago, I just get, did get stuck at, uh, at one of those blooms here and I knocked it over because it's so top heavy. And that's why I have quite a mess still on the floor, as you can see there in the back. So I did clean it up as quickly as I could, but I was uh, during my break, so I didn't have much time. I still have some re resemblance left there. And I thought, well, at least I need to get it back in a pot and see if I can keep it in bloom because we waited so long for this pipe, but yes, it did fell off the shelf. Didn't break anything, can you believe it? Not a bloom 
All the blooms still left. Spike is okay. So yeah. I was lucky with that one. Then we have over here this purple one. Still in bloom. As you can see, this even these blooms have some pumice left. Because it was uh, right underneath them, you can see there on the shelf. So I need to do a better cleaning up next time. But it will be okay. We have more blooms over here. As you can see how they beautifully catch some sunlight. And this one has this tag. For those who want to know, then we have a no ID next to it from my last haul from Landsbergen. Still in bloom. Down here we have a no ID. Well, it's called Blossom Falls, something like that, from the Incas. But yeah, the plant looks a little bit dirty. I, sorry, but now you know the reason. And this is also from the Incas. This is probably always in bloom with the spike, but it's so beautiful. It's disturbing. Red, I believe. There is a purple one as well, but I uh, do like my reds a bit more. Very easy growing orchid, and it likes to bloom. Then you can see this huge yellow one also getting the sunlight. This looks amazing, I think. Look at that. But look at those spikes, you guys. Those are so long. Two spikes with quite a lot of branches going on. Look at those beautiful shaped blooms. I'm sorry. I just touched it with the camera. <laughs> so now they are moving a little bit. But yeah, it's absolutely stunning, I think. Beautiful. So yeah, that's this beautiful Ancidium. <coughs> then we have this beautiful Rancanans. I always have a bit of difficulty with that name as well. <laughs> but you probably remember it. I recognize it, I'm sorry. With a beautiful sunlight on there as well. Very nice, very nice. And down here we have the Masai Red, beautiful, right? Uh, a spike there in the back, and you can see we ha have four more spikes coming. So this has six spikes in total. And yeah, the color again, of course, that beautiful dark red, purplish red, I really, really love. You can see it's a fairly big plant. And yeah, those blooms all together, it's such a beautiful display. And with this one, <laughs> Next to it is also beautiful. Look at that, with the sun hitting the blooms again. I think it's beautiful. So let me grab the tag for this one very quickly. This is the Undontoglossum Carla. So this is Carla. <laughs> and Carla is blooming, as we can see. <laughs> Then uh, this one is almost going over, so I'm not sure if I should show that anymore because the color is almost gone out of, those, out of the blooms. But look at this one. The rusty red color is also a favorite. Absolutely beautiful. One of the blooms is already going over, but still we have some good colored blooms left, I think. So yeah, that's very beautiful. And then we have this beauty. It's going over but one more last look at it we have still a bloom that's almost okay <laughs> but yeah this one is really going over then above this uh, path is still in bloom even though we just repotted it not that long ago and then this one is going on and going on and this is the pinocchio alba beautiful beautiful yeah, and you can see there in the middle of the flower spike, let me zoom in, there is another bud already forming. So she will uh, keep on blooming, <laughs> as far as I can see. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Let me move over here so we can have a look at all of them. It's so beautiful if you stand here. 
It's almost like a big bouquet of blooms. I really, really love it. It's so beautiful. Then some more blooms over here. <laughs> So yeah, you guys, this is the blooming update for uh, the month of October. Like I said, in November, I apologize. I try to keep them on schedule, but sometimes um, life happens. Let's put it like that. Um, so yeah, this is it for, for uh, those who uh, wanted to see the orchids. I will show you what what type of construction we have done because it's uh, it's nice to, sh to show. So, uh, But before I do that, I just want to say thank you for watching because I can uh, imagine that not everyone uh, wants to see what type of construction we have done here. But if you do, uh, let's follow me. And if you don't, I hope to see you at one of my next videos. But for those who are curious, it's so beautiful. We need to go back. This is a uh, thing that we wanted to do for so many years. And it's uh, a porch, you guys, it's a porch. So we have, let me move stuff around while I'm carrying the camera as well. I hope you don't mind, <laughs> but it's just next to uh, the greenhouse. This door is always a little bit stuck. And there we go. Look at that. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. So this was uh, going on <laughs> last week. So you can imagine quite a lot of noises just right next to our uh, greenhouse as you can see over here but yeah we have a porch we're letting a porch build and oh I love it already it's all the way going all the way down here to the end of the house there at that area so yeah the roof is coming next week and we will have a little bit of fence here down uh, the porch itself so it will uh, be get more that coisy, uh, coisy, that uh, yeah, coisy feeling. Basically, I think I can say. <laughs> so yeah, that is what is uh, going on. And yeah, really, really, really love the wood. Beautiful. Same type of wood on uh, the greenhouse, but this is a little bit uh, longer here, and thereby it gets start to get a bit gray, grayish. But we uh, we like that uh, structure and the look of the wood. So that's why we keep it like this. And uh, let me try to find a way, whoops, in without breaking blooms, spikes. Let's shut the door. So I can say a proper thank you guys for uh, being here with me. <laughs> that was my ventilator. There we go. Everything back into place. Uh, so yeah, for uh, those who wanted to know, that is what is uh, going on and uh, we try to enjoy it uh, quickly when the roof is uh, also uh, installed and then we can enjoy the beautiful sunny, sunny days over there. For now, uh, also to you guys, thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoy this blooming update and I hope you do all uh, very well and of course, if you like, give it a, a thumbs up and I hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye bye.